Here at Radley's, we've been scientific glass blowing right here in the UK since the 60s. So we're in the perfect position to help you with your glassware queries. In this video, we're going to share our tips for how to unstick a ground glass joint. A seized joint is a common problem when working with standard ground glass joints. You finished your experiment, you go to separate the cone and socket and you find they will not come apart. Most of us have experienced this in the lab at one point or another, so how can you avoid the frustration? As with most things, prevention is better than the cure. When using standard ground glass joints, some common advice is to grease the joints or use a PTFE sleeve. Greasing the joints between the sealing faces can help, but the grease may dissolve in your solvents or it can work its way out of the joint during your experiment. You can reduce the chance of this by not applying grease to the bottom part of the joint. A PTFE adapter or sleeve can fit between the socket and cone to try to prevent sticking. The adapter can also protect your joint from potential chips or breakage. These tips should minimise the chance of your glass joint sticking, but the issue can't be completely prevented. If you look online, you'll find a variety of suggestions to unstick your joint, such as knocking or tapping the joint, soaking it, or cooling or heating it. One way to separate the joint is knocking it with a soft tool, such as the wooden handle of a screwdriver. It's better to avoid this method if possible due to the risk of breaking the glass. Remember that glass, even the high quality borosilicate glass 3.3 that we use here at Radley's is relatively fragile. Another method to separate the joint is soaking. This option is available only if you can empty your glassware of chemicals before you attempt to separate the joint. You can use a suitable solvent to dissolve any chemical residue in the joint, even soaking overnight if necessary, or using a sonicator or ultrasonic cleaner. You can also use thermal methods to separate your joint. Temperature can be used to expand or contract the glass. Some chemists put glassware in the freezer, others gently apply heat to the outside of the socket. We can use a glassblower's flame to apply heat to a joint. You could use a heat gun or put your glassware in your glassware oven. Whichever method you choose, you should always consider your chemistry and whichever actions you carry out, you should ensure are safe for your specific setup. You should always wear the appropriate gloves and PPE to reduce the risk of injury should the glass break. We're all too familiar with the frustration of dealing with stuck joints, so we include Rotovis fittings on many of our products. When it's time to disconnect the joint, these threaded fittings press the glass apart evenly and quickly without the risk of breakages and spills. You can check out our video on Rotovis fittings on our YouTube channel. If you do end up breaking your important reactor joint, all is not lost. At Bradley's, our glass blowers can carry out a variety of repairs. So if you do have any queries, please contact us and ask.